Hi, welcome to Neurosection's new release um, introducing the new auto contouring. This video is going to go through a small workflow starting with the project map and ending with the presentation montage. So you'll see Neurosection's project map here. We have both wells and cultural data imported. Below is a list, a tabular listing of the wells that are displayed. You'll see that we have both red and black wells. The red portray those that have logs and the black do not. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up the logs from a cross section that we've already started work on in order to do some correlation. Now these are LAS files but we do also support raster logs together or by themselves. Now in order to get more of a standard look of our logs I'm going to create a custom LAS template. So I already have one here and so I've set up all the display um, parameters that I'd like from scale to color and track. So right now I'm just applying it to the open logs but it can also be applied to the database as a whole or you can set up your own defaults for all coming in. In addition we also have the ability to do curve fills. You can fill to an edge, another curve, or even a curve value. So let's go directly into correlation. In correlation mode, you'll see that we lose the frames of our logs. We can freely move them around locks and normalization mode. So I'm going to turn on my top tool and you'll see that it brings up a little mini strap toolbar on the left hand side. And this enables you to see all of your surfaces. You can scroll to, you can hide any surface, um, or even create new ones here. So what we're going to do is hide a couple of the bench ones and here you see the view of all of the logs together but we can also open just a couple of the time, maybe get a tie log and um, correlate against that on them all. So we're going to open just a couple and you'll know that everybody, uh, it all normalizes at the same rate. We also have a stretch and compress tool. So if you have some tight sands or an area that's really hard to correlate, you can compress or stretch your logs in order to get a very a better view of that um, portion of the log. So once you get them kind of scaled the way you want to see them, you can move them left, right, up or down in order to move the curve side by side to adjust, add or move any of your tops. So we've just worked with a couple of them here. You can go and work with them one at a time or as many as you want, but for our purposes we're going to go and start doing our contouring. So from the project map, we're going to go and open our area of interest. Now the area of interest is a multi-surfing mapping area. So you'll see once again all the surfaces on the left hand side of the AOI. So we're going to go and set the projection, make it a state plane, Wyoming, and make the scale a little bit better for this area. In addition, since we're going to be doing some contouring, I'm just going to turn off some of the cultural data right now. We'll turn it on before we do our presentation. So in order to create a map, all you need to do is right click on a surface. You'll see that there's different types of maps that come with it, but you can also uh, contour on any generic XYZ as well. Once you choose your surface, all of the data is posted on your map, and you can do auto contouring between a polygon area, you can make a smooth polygon area and adjust it, or do it on the whole as we're doing here, and we set our value. So you'll see very quickly we did it every 100 feet. Now if you wanted to, you have the interactive movement between the two, and we're going we're gonna to constrain the uh, depth range. And so very quickly I can put in a new value and it removes them without having to regrid. We have many attributes you can set to make the display nicer, so we're going into there. We just want to see our um, labels every 500 feet. And so you'll see once that's done it kind of cleans up the map a little bit. So let's go and edit the contours first um, before we start um, filling in and making them a, a nice presentation map. So you'll see that we have interactive contouring, contour editing. It allows you to very easily move and reshape any of the contours that you have. You can add, remove points, or even move them. And you'll see how the, the character of the contours change. So once we have them shaped the way we want, uh, you can either do an infill between two, or two contours or in our case we're actually going to create uh, oil water contact. So if you do two, there's where you can set your interval. 
or we're going to go ahead and set a contact to 2350. So once you have the contour where you want it, we're going to go to the properties of just that single contour. Now we're going to set the line style to dashed. We're going to go ahead and give it a different color. We're going to change the line thickness. And then we're going to actually name what the tag is. So this, in this case, we're going to do oil water contact. And you'll see that it appends to the elevation. So now we're just going to prepare to make um, our nice presentation. You simply drag over the contours to do fill based on your gradient. You can change and fix your contour color lines, as well as you can add cutoffs, remove cutoffs, um, and move them wherever you need. So as you see, we actually are showing everything as gradient fill, but if you wanted to do, say, a volume map, you can turn that off and you can see hard cutoffs between the different zones. And as well, you can set the opacity to make a little softer look. So once that's done, we're going to go ahead and turn our features back on um, before we print our map. We're going to turn on a title block. And then we have some base map layers. I only have annotations in right here, but you can also use it to highlight leases, wells, add pictures, anything that you may want to see on all. So I actually made JPEGs out of each of these, and I'm going to bring in those images. So very quickly, you can bring them into your cross-section. You can move them around. You can size them. Um, anything can come in even from another Windows application. So we're going to add a quick annotation. So we have an annotation tool. We'll add our title. Uh, you can also use this for just general um, text annotations. We're going to print this to a PDF file. Um, that can be added to any presentation. So I appreciate your time and do please go download it from uh, www.neurolog.com. Thank you.